Hello and welcome to my makeup video. This video is, I can't say necessarily a tutorial, but it's me doing my makeup for the first time in weeks um, because of my skin conditions that have been going on. No, I should explain why I look kind of off. <laughs> um, if you think I look off, it is because I've been suffering from dermatitis on my face, my ears, and my scalp. So my head is just, my hair is just in a bun. It looks greasy. It's because I've been putting moisturizer on my scalp because I don't know how to treat dermatitis on my scalp. But it probably doesn't look my, um, greasy because my head is so dry all the time. It just absorbs moisturizer. And, hmm. In this video, I try out a few new products. I really hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a like. And if you like me, Please subscribe, please. <laughs> Let's get into the video. So I'm gonna start off using this pearlescence rose and apricot, I should shake it. Rose and apricot priming oil, and it's gonna be my first time using it. I don't know how much to put on my face. A few drops on your palms, massage into cleanse face and neck. It's okay that I moisturized since then. Oh my god! It's like a sideways dropper. That's cute. I'm gonna put it directly dropping on my face. And go from there. Oh, it smells like roses so nicely. I'm not sure if I should put it on my eyelids. Maybe just put the access there. I think I could use more than three drops because it is getting a bit hard to move around. And I haven't done my neck yet. Now that the product is absorbed in, it feels really nice and soft and I find my skin looks smoother and feels smoother and I hope this won't cause me to have breakouts. And now we're going to be doing foundation, Kat Von D's Lock and Concealer in Light Neutral 40. I'm going to put a pump onto a brush that I need to clean. A little more than a pump maybe. A little more than that maybe. access on my cheek and now I'm gonna rub it around my face okay maybe that was too much Next for contour, I'm going to be using Makeup Forever's Concealer Stick and the Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. Um, in the shade 128 equals Y415. And I'm going to carve out here. Get my hair out of the way. And carve out here too. A little more on that side. And obviously get rid of my nose. And now I'm gonna blend that all out. Next time I'm gonna be taking Kat Von D's Locket Concealer Cream in the shade Whiteout. And don't worry, I'm gonna be bringing it on top of the orangish that is blended out here. And I'm also going to be coloring, covering the color underneath my eyes, like that purpley darkness. Mm -hmm. 
I also just put a bit of white, um, blended it onto the bridge of my nose and the tip just for a highlight to work more with the contour. And next I'm going to be taking Kat Von D's Locket Setting Powder um, and lip shade, translucent. And I'm going to be taking my fluffy brush. There's a lot of powder in here right now. Tap off the excess. Just powder yourself because you have way too much powder. I just lit my new candle for my grandmother for Christmas. Literally all like 10 minutes before filming this video. Um, I wanted to light it. I looked everywhere and I could not find a lighter. <laughs> And literally, I just looked down in front of me and there's a lighter sitting right, right on the floor in front of me. Like, right there. But, this is my new sweet cinnamon pumpkin scented candle. And my grandmother always gets me sweet cinnamon pumpkin stuff for my birthday and Christmas because she knows I'm a hoe for the sweet cinnamon pumpkin life. So good. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Venus palette by Lime Crime and the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Um, I think those are going to be my main palettes. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to go with neutral browns. Or dark browns. It smells good. Um, which I don't usually do, but I want kind of like a natural grungy look today. So, let's try it out. Um, da -da -da. First, I'm just going to be taking my big old white round deluxe crease brush and I'm going to use it all over around my eyelid with the shade Divinity. Ah, Divinity from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Next, I'm going to be taking this brush. And I'm going to go into Cool Dough. It's one of my favorite colors in this palette. This heart right here. I'm going to be applying it across my eyelid. They blend so good. Okay, see this patch where it's a bit darker? That is where I have dermatitis. And I was trying to do makeup and pretend it's not there. It's pretty much gone, like pretty much 100% gone. But I guess there's still a bit because I don't think I'm gonna be able to blend that out. With my dermatitis, um, it's flaky skin on my eyelid and pigment gets caught in the flakes and stuff, which makes it patchy like that, which is disgusting. But we'll work with it, right? I'm gonna go really simple with the eyeshadow too today. Next, I'm gonna be going. Did I put my finger in it? No. Okay. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna be going into a color that I don't think I've used yet, and that is Earl Grey, which is this midnight blue gray. I don't know. Is it a gray? Is it a midnight blue? It's called Earl Grey. It's very dark. I'm excited to use it. And I think I'm going to be using it maybe in my crease. Would that be wild? I don't know. I think I'm going to use it in my crease. Let's go. What type of idea was this? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go back in with the brush I used for Will Doe, and I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. into the Earl Grey. I 
Okay, now I'm gonna add actually the final touches to my eyeshadow because this is how simple it is today. I'm going to be taking um, Aura from Lime Crimes, Venus palette, and should I just use my pinky? Yeah, I'm just gonna use my pinky, dab it in there, and put it down the center of my eye. Kind of just dab, messily. For a bit of like a center highlight for a bit of a bug eyed look. Next, I'm actually gonna be going into this Makeup Forever palette. I'm sorry, I do not know the color names. Um, I'll try to write it down below. And I'm gonna be using this frosty blue right here, inside on camera, there. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing I just did with Aura, but more in the center, tinier. I'm gonna be taking this NYX copper eye slash eyebrow pencil, and I'm gonna be holding it actually over my candle right now to heat it up just lightly, not burning it. Um, it's not too close to the candle, but I just want it to be heated up a bit so that it'll go onto my waterline easier. I'm just gonna test it on my hand, make sure it's not too hot or anything. It's really nice and very smooth. I left that on too long probably, but. I'm gonna lightly let that go into the lash line too, not just the water line, just to kind of blend it through. And I think I actually, oh, I'm losing my voice. Um, I think I actually might rub it around the inner corner. Yes, oh, my voice is strange. Not too strange, but I sound like an adult now. <laughs> Where did I put my eyeliner? I'm going to be using Kat Von D's Trooper Liner in, no, Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. Why did I attempt to do something kind of tough when I haven't done my makeup in forever? I'm not sure. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be going real simple on my eyebrows and I'm going to be taking the new Pearlescence, or my new Pearlescence Coconut and Rose Makeup Setting Spray. And I love that pink plastic. I love pink plastic so much. It's an issue and also an issue for the environment, but I just like the way it looks. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna spray it onto the spoolie brush. Ooh, it already shot out. Some of it just burned in my candle because it landed on it. This has a very powerful spray. I'm gonna be kind of scared to spray it on my face. Anyway, I'm just gonna be using it to brush up my eyebrows. Just adding a tiny bit of product into my eyebrows to maybe keep them placed, I don't know need better lighting um but with that we're gonna move on to lashes my new lashes the glam wispies in black by lashes for days pro lash five pack oh there's five sets of it here and this comes with adhesive and usually i just use the duo adhesive and I might use the duo adhesive again because this is the adhesive that it comes with. Cosmania eyelash adhesive. Maybe I'll go wild and try it. I don't know. It's not even the same brand as the lashes. Before I put them on, I should actually put on a light coat of mascara just because my eyelashes are slightly lighter than black. I'm gonna be taking CoverGirl's Clump Crusher. 
which is like the most basic mascara. Closed very tight. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to tough it out and I'm going to try out the Cosmania eyelash adhesive. Does it only close once? You can only use it once. Oh no, you can you put the lid on the other way. Okay. <laughs> um And then I'm going to put it on here. Make an attempt not to put too much. This is actually pretty easy. Um, the one I usually use has a brush. So this is different. But not bad. And now I'm going to wait about 30 seconds for it to do its tacky thing. Try to close this again. There we go. Okay, um, I think that was about 30 seconds. So, oh, I haven't done eyelashes like in forever. I really like how thin the band is on these. I want to press down there, but I don't. I can't get my little tweezer thingies in there. Does that work? I'm gonna have a damp q-tip right here so I can make sure I can push down the lashes to stick in place. Okay, that was extremely easy. Like, super easy. So I'm gonna do it on the other eye now and hopefully it works as easy as it's on this side. So I just put a bit of Homegirl um, Started Kiss Lipstick by, I really want to say Gwen Stefani because I keep thinking Hollaback Girl, but I just used Homegirl by Kat Von D on my lips just in the center and really rubbed it out. I have lip balm on so it helped it kind of slide. Um, and next I am going to be taking Fly from the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette. Fly is this color. And I'm going to be taking this bad boy, also by Lime Crime. Look at that glitter. I'm running out of power um, on my camera, that's why I'm trying to go quick now. This is going to die. But anyway, gonna get that glossy. Sweating from an overdose type look. on your nose to be super cute i really hope you like the look and i know there's really 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 bad blending on the side but i can't help dermatitis i wish i could but i can't so <laughs> enjoy the side and i'm just really happy to do makeup again so i hope I hope you enjoyed the video. How many times have I said that already? Um, thank you for watching and bye bye.